Hi, this is Mr. Neely, and I'm going to show you how to make your ePortfolio today using Google Sites. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to sites.google.com. That sites is in websites, S I T E S.google.com. Let's go there now. When you go to sites.google.com, you'll be able to see any previous websites you've created or any websites that others have shared with you as well. What you're going to do is click on this button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It is the create new site button. Go ahead and press the create new site button now. Once you've created this page, you have your portfolio. Now we just need to fill in the details. To do this, we're going to use my page and other pages as a model. To access my page, you can go to bit.ly slash neely sample. That's bit.ly slash neely sample. Your flex teacher should have some other examples as well. But we're going to use this as a model to set up our page. What you'll notice is it has my name in the left hand corner, the title of my home page, my ePortfolio, and then the other pages uh, that are connected to this page home vision, resume, and products. Let's add a little bit of detail into our site at this time. Back on your page, go ahead and put in your full name and portfolio. For the title of your page, you can put my e-portfolio. Now you have your page. To add the pages in the top right hand corner of your screen, click on pages here on the right hand side of your page. Click on the plus button, but don't click on new link, click on new page. For the new pages, we're going to have the three that I had on my example, vision, resume, and products. Every time you create a new page, click the done button to add the page. Vision, resume, and products. Once you've added these three pages, they will show up in the top right hand corner of your screen. Back on your home page, you can actually customize your header. You can change the header type, you can make it a large banner, a title only, a cover. I like the normal banner. Then you can actually change the image. I like the ones that Google offers, so I'm going to click on Change Image and Select Image. You can select on whatever ever image you want to. I like to keep things pretty professional for this online portfolio. Then, the next thing that you can do to kind of add some detail and some personality to your page is go to Themes here on the right-hand side. Click on Themes. You're able to change from a couple different themes and a couple different colors for each theme. I like this one well enough. Let's choose this one. Okay. Back on my home page, I want to do a couple things before I actually start adding content. I want to, first of all, publish my page. Click on the top right hand button up here. It says publish. Click on this purple button. You're going to want to put your first name, last name, portfolio, or just your last name portfolio. This is your customizable web address. If the name is taken, it will ask you to change the name. Then you will click the purple publish button when you are finished. Then it will be important to actually share this page with your Flex teacher. Click on the share button in the top right hand corner. There's an image of a person with a plus button. Click on the share button. And then where it says invite people, start typing in your flex teacher's name. You will see that name appear and you can click on their address. Make sure you hit click send so it sends your address to your flex teacher. Lastly, one thing that you'll want to do is every single time that you add content, you're going to want to publish the page again. This is like the save button each time that you add something to the page. You can really start simple. On the About Me page, you can add one of these layouts on the right hand side, add one of these layouts to your page, and start adding content. Again, I suggest looking at one of the sample portfolios to help guide you today. 
Your Flex teacher will also help you with your vision, resume, and products. If you have any questions or concerns, please consult your Flex teacher. Thanks.